Alright, this is a review of um Superman the Coming of Atlas review. Um Let's see, the story is by James Robinson and the artwork is by Renato Guides and I guess an inker is Wilson Malehas. How about pronouncing that right? Sorry if I'm not. Um it's a four ninety nine a little trade I picked up. Um Actually, I've been reading. I read this a while ago, but I had a copy, but it was pretty crappy. Uh, so I went ahead and got another one. Um, this story is basically about um, a individual who um, is able to match Superman. This was uh, introduced. You know, as another character, James Robinson said he wanted to make the character another character that can go toe to toe with Superman, um, just like Doomsday can, and it's Atlas, and he's a being of magic. Um, so the governments, um, they pretty much capture him and they're going to use him against Superman to take him down. Um, this story is really more about, um, Showing how awesome Crypto is, Superman's dog. Um, because at the beginning, um, how Jordan and, and Superman and Crypto that they're they're up they're up in space and they're playing um catch with Crypto. You know they're throwing him um this little like uh like alien ball or whatever, and Crypto's just up there playing with you know Superman and how Jordan. And, um, Lois, on the other hand, she doesn't like Crypto at the start of the story. She thinks Crypto is kind of a, an annoyance. But, um, in the story, uh, Superman gets his ass beat basically by Atlas. Um, and Crypto shows up and he fights him and he defeats Atlas. And Lois, you know, she starts to see why Crypto is so cool and special and all that stuff. Um, I like the story. I give it a um, solid 5 out of 5. It's very good. Um, um, it's, yeah, you can pick it up. I think any anybody can pick it up. You don't really have to be a long-time fan of Superman to understand the story. Um... Because it's really straightforward and simple, but um, there are some little things in here. Um, some characters you might not notice, like if you don't know the Superman universe, you might not know who um, Lana is. But you know she's on Smallville, so it's the same character. Or you might not know who uh, General Lane is and stuff like that. Um, those are the only things I th I would think that non um fans of superman would wouldn't know otherwise it's pretty much superman duking it out with atlas and i think they wanted to show that um james robinson also wanted to show that superman can actually get hurt and it doesn't just take kryptonite to hurt him it it just takes someone as strong as he is to hurt him um uh, basically because a lot of people you know were like oh superman can get hurt but you know they, they were trying to introduce a lot of characters that you know, villains that can take him down. Atlas is very, um, I wouldn't call him a villain. He's more in between. He, he's not a good or a bad guy. He's, he's a gray. Um, he's not black or white. He's just gray. He, um, mainly, he doesn't really care about what the government wants. He just wants to fight Superman as a challenge, you know, just to see how strong he is. Kind of like what, they did with um, kind of like Bane. He's kind of like the Bane for Superman. Um, you know, Bane wanted to fight Batman just to prove that he can break him. Um, same with Atlas. He just wanted to fight Superman so he can break him and prove that he's truly the uh, best physical specimen there is. Um, and he does really beat Superman in this fight. He uh, stops his heart. Um, his face is he busts his face up pretty good in here. It's a it's a bloody book actually, pretty bloody um fighting in here. Um like I said, Crypto just 
you know, he, he pretty much kicks ass. They should they should call this the coming of crypto, cause he just kicks ass. Pretty cool dog. Um, and uh, not much else I can say about this story. Um, this is just takes place a couple um issues before Jeff Johns took over. You know, with the Brainiac uh, saga and the new Krypton stuff. Um, I say pick it up if you get the chance. It's not that, like I say, it's not that expensive. It's only fourteen ninety nine. Um, that's how much I paid for it. Well, well, I got half off because my uh, the uh, free comic book day thing they had, so I got it half off. I ended up paying uh, ten bucks for it. So that's just because it was free comic book day. That's how I got it. That cheap. Um, but yeah, if you get the chance, pick it up. Superman, Coming of Atlas, five out of five. Great artwork, good story, good fight, um, great action, and um, I think you'll enjoy it. Even as a non-Superman fan, you should be able to enjoy this uh, story. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say on this um, this Superman um, review. And I am out.